Ness, Ramon S, and yo, to the double TV, funneling these bookies like one, two, three, they tapping out, and we cashing now, it's plain to see, the more scheme is the A-team, Mr. T, and I pity the fools who can't hang, come with real game, it's sort of a freight train, it's very important, bank rolls are easy to maintain, so get situated, and listen to the picks, and it goes along something like this. And a pleasant good morning to you from the sports betting capital of the world, Las Vegas. This is Ramon Scott. Welcome to the morning steam for Sunday, April 21st. We've got NBA and NHL playoff action for today and a Major League Baseball card as well. Hi, everybody. Thanks and welcome back. Uh, appreciated everybody who came in here yesterday. I actually couldn't co- concentrate halfway through the show uh, with uh, so much uh, so many people actually, it wasn't, you know, like an outpouring or everything, but I, it was amazing. I didn't realize it would get to a situation where we have really, I don't know, just felt like the old crew was back. So just thanks again. Won't belabor it too much, but uh, just, I think like, and subscribe, we had uh, 350 or so uh, views. I think it was a little higher than that when we were uh, there, uh, it was way higher back in the day, but uh, just to get everybody, because remember, it's all about you guys in the chat, the chat all-stars and your picks, and we'll get to those in just a moment, and I'll try to remember the format of the show or change the format of the show. I don't know. Uh, I like keep the you know keeping track. We've got to find a way to keep that consensus. I've got to find a way to just make sure we know what our pick is, right? So uh, it's not so much always about me. It's about you guys. But I did go 4-0 uh, in the NBA online picks yesterday here uh, on the show. Uh, had a couple premium winners as well. Hello to everybody in the chat. I see your winners coming in. Well, how did you guys do yesterday? And let's say hello to everyone rolling in as we get ready for the show. We'll have, yes, NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball. And, well, I'm not even going to give the UFL a try today. Two zero and 3 teams playing, and I couldn't. Uh, uh, figure it out yesterday. So uh, back to the drawing board. I watch the games, and uh, uh, I don't know. Some teams are trying too hard. Sometimes it looks like uh, maybe I'm trying too hard when it comes to the UFL. Uh, just uh, you know, you know, you're gonna have inconsistent performances. Let's not even belabor it. All right. So say hello to everyone in the chat. Who do we have? It was Curtis here ready to open the door. Thank you, Curtis. Man, uh, the one thing, it seems like the chat has gotten rolling a lot earlier than normal, or maybe you're just excited to see me. I don't know, but there's Curtis and Latifah's here and row, rolling. She's running it for me. Thank you, uh, Latifah. <laughs> hey. We might need a mod. Watch out. I know Latifah's not always available, but it's great to have her here. She had a good day. We'll go over the site. Check it out. That was the one thing I forgot to do in the format. Well, you know, see what's going on at Tony'sPicks.com. Uh, see who did well. I had to, some winners and uh, a couple, some losers as well. So I want to get back on it today. But uh, pretty excited about the NBA card and considering uh, I'm considering it a pretty healthy start uh, considering my two and one plays with premiums and the four and O picks here on the show. I'm going to uh, take a little bit of a victory, a much needed victory lap here uh, uh, over the last part of the NBA season was frustrating. Okay. Let's see you know, a few more Dre's here. And thank you Latifa for all that uh, rolling with it. And let's see. Oh, thank you, Dre. Let's talk about it. Let's get to some headlines here uh, with uh, the King of Victorville, uh, Ryan Garcia. Uh, yes, of course. I mean, uh, he is not messing around. I mean, he had his moments where he was in trouble. But uh, to be able to win last night uh, in such a awesome fashion. Uh, yes, maybe, you know, a majority decision. I get it. Uh, but 
it's only April and we might have our fight of the year uh, last night with the King of Victorville, uh, Ryan Garcia in a terrific, terrific victory uh, last night, uh, uh, late night uh, in the metro area. So just a great job uh, there with the fight. So, man, that was uh, something else. So actually uh, just thought Haney, you know, I, I don't think he overlooked Garcia, uh, certainly, in the bout, but uh, maybe everybody else did. And uh, don't forget, uh, Garcia has uh, performed every time, it pretty much seems like, uh, you know, to a certain level of credibility. And to be a 4-1 to underdog, uh, yeah, I was on the King of Victor bill, certainly. I probably should have talked about on the show, uh, you know, boxing is not our... Uh, Right now, not necessarily being covered too heavily here on the website, but uh, certainly uh, was worth uh, ponying up for that one last night or however you got the fight uh, last night. It certainly was, I would think. I'm trying to think uh, what were your favorite headlines from last night, uh, the sports action, other than this N NBA playoff action, uh, the fight, certainly. Uh, here's another thing about Garcia, right? And yeah, I mean, he's going to be the guy that when it comes time to call for an emergency, nobody's going to believe him. But... Uh, you know, he might go out there and talk a lot of game, but he did bring some attention to the fight, uh, whether it cost him any money or not. I don't know. He might have got his way, frankly, in the end. Uh, but still, it ends up kind of looking a little bit, uh, you know, out of sorts, out of place, but got the win uh, in really impressive fashion. So, uh, anyways, NBA games last night certainly were a thrill, uh, no doubt about it. Um uh, with those uh, playoff games uh, get us rolling. So how did you guys do? Let me take us over to Tony'sPicks.com. But that I thanks for mentioning that, Dre, because uh, that was really the highlight of the day. Thomas is here. Thank you for your support as well. Doubles is here. Uh, Blake, thank you again. I know I said a lot yesterday, but uh, Robert Martin here today. And we'll always try to say hello. And uh, when we get to the picks, I just want to try to do a better job, man. Jacob Blue Elling here today as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. I see all of your plays. PZ, thank you. We're going to roll it every time, right? That's the only reason I thought to bring the show back. Uh, as I contemplated weather coming back, I said, you know what? I don't know, but I just feel like uh, PZ made me that awesome uh, – bumper music and it's not being used so uh, it was going to get played every time at the beginning every time at the end with the morning steam with you guys team steam fernando here talking aussie soccer uh, everton just scored as i was coming on the air here uh, as well as uh, uh, jls beating my man uh, uh, fritz in the final uh, in Germany. So, you know, Fritz, Fritz, he was going to be up against it, going against the hometown, a home country favorite there in that one. And a uh, little tennis action going on here today with some finals. We already saw uh, uh, Kostyuk absolutely get crushed. All right. Uh, anybody else? Thanks, everybody, for showing up. I'm just kind of getting used to how to run the controls again uh, here, everybody. So uh, bear with me. I thought we went a little fast, and then I thought we went a little slow yesterday. So I'm going to try to balance it out. Go over to Tony'sPicks.com. I just want to point out uh, upcoming games here. I think I might have some soccer from some folks here. just wanted to point it out uh, here. One of them's from me, so let's just uh, get rolling here. Uh, but there is some soccer picks here from the crew. If you're interested in playing a little action from me, from Nick, from Ron, uh, action here from uh, Germany. I don't know, Nick and I, we might be on other sides here. We got Ron, we got Nick, and other plays today over at Tony'sPicks.com, plus all of our other sports. Check out all the cappers over at Tony'sPicks.com with our premium picks. I uh, don't know if anybody knows, you know, you can look through and see all the games from all the cappers that are on their card for today. So you can see what everybody has actually as far as uh, uh, what games they're uh, interested in. So sometimes, you know, you're wondering, hey, I mean, I'm getting a five pack. Uh, you would have to go through and look through and see because they could have seven games in a five pack. You don't know. I mean, there's certain 
this, you know, marketing strategies to just saying that these are my picks. And, uh, you know, of course, we have uh, the leaderboard. So check us out over at Tony'sPicks.com. You see uh, Steve Duncan, you got Probby, you got Nick uh, with some good results yesterday. Ron Hahn doing a great job as well. Ron Crawford uh, here. Uh, Sean, uh, nickname of the week, Dinwiddie uh, up there as well. Tony T, good day yesterday. Bo Dunn, four and two as well. There's Latifa talking about her fine performance yesterday as well. So check it out. Last uh, seven days here you see doubles up there uh he's uh, doing really well over the last seven days nearly seven and a half units of profit and over the last 30 days also good record from the cappers here at tonyspicks.com click on the all cappers tab find the handicapper of your choice that's how you get signed up and uh, see all the cappers here you go in find their premium picks page click on their tab and uh, right now I'm on the bottom. Not for long. Watch out. I'm going to have a big day today. Let's get into it with the NBA. If you're ready, we'll get a few more comments going. Uh, we don't need to get too much into it. I got some packages up there. <laughs> I got some packages up there at Tony'sPicks.com, including a three-pack in the NBA, three-pack in the NHL, and in baseball. I kind of want to play it by ear here and uh, see, because I've got several plays here on the card in Major League Baseball, but I want to see what you guys have as well. Um, Salty has Forrest to get the next goal. We've turned it into a live betting show all of a sudden. Fernando trying to make my pick here. Uh, Solo talking about the huge game today between Barcelona and Real Madrid. Um, I'll make a pick. Right, I'm gonna try Madrid in the. I'm gonna try Real Madrid in the under. I'm thinking. I don't. Know, maybe we get the. Maybe we get the go ahead from the uh, uh, from Fernando on that one. But uh, I don't know if you. Uh, if Solo's on the, uh, maybe he's recommending Barcelona money line. So maybe I'll just take the under uh, Solo. <laughs> okay, Fernando says he kind of likes Madrid here in this one. Hey, Lex, nice to see you. And uh, Chad, you know, Chad, that was rough, right? Because, man, don't you just feel for this guy right now? I mean, look, uh, it's tough because we all want to criticize the players that get injured. I think when they get injured, it's, it's really tough. Right. And yeah, maybe it's been, I'm not saying overblown. I mean, I feel bad for Embiid because he continues to talk about how much it's affected him mentally to have those injuries. And well, I mean, it sucks to be injured. And we, even when we play our own sports, right. And we can't do what we want to do, but incredible to come back into the game and still perform. I mean, uh, just really impressive. Uh, you know, uh, despite the result uh, yesterday, man. I mean, I, I've had, I I just hope this guy can work this out and uh, figure this out before it's too late. But man. Uh, just feels bad. All right, let's get to the games. Thank you, everybody, for all your comments, and thanks for everybody for showing up. We've got 40 in here right now, and you maybe yesterday we <laughs> got up to a fast start, but we got chat here now. Let's get, the, let's get the NBA started. I'm ready to go. I can just roll off with the picks, but, man, I want to keep track of maybe what the chat has, um, you know, on the pick. Right. And I have my premium pick. So, I mean, I'm not going to give that. And I'm, it's a playoff game. I mean, I'm going to go with the uh, my other side or total. And Terrell, uh, do I have to sing, you know, uh, your dreams were your ticket out, uh, Terrell. Uh, welcome back to that same old place that you laughed about. Uh, the dreams have all changed since we hung around. But, or no, I, uh, eh. Mm-hmm. Your dream. Mm -hmm. I think I can get it. I think I know all the lyrics. All right, Lex is ready to go. With <laughs> let's do it one game at a time and see who we're on. Here we go. And uh, I tell you what, I mean, I'm trying to get everything organized. And even though I got up earlier than usual, I mean, like two, three in the morning, uh, still didn't feel like get those last baseball games ready to go. Let's go for April 21st here with the Heat and the Celtics. What's going on here, you guys? Maybe, uh, you know, you guys can start to help me out here. And 
uh, is someone injured here for the Heat? Well, of course we know someone's injured here for the Heat. It's only our man, uh, Jimmy Metro. And, you know, um, we still got the pretty good team here in the Miami Heat, don't we? I mean, um, there's a way to figure this out. I mean, you only have a, a, a Hall of Fame coach, most likely, an elite coaching staff and organization here and a team that they're well familiar with. I don't know. I mean, maybe Boston, maybe that maybe it's one of those NBA playoff Sunday mornings that you see that, you know, one team comes in here. But isn't it usually like a team that, uh, you know, is a little bit young or uh, – you know, doesn't have playoff experience or anything like that. It just seems kind of strange that, um, you know, they still would be a two touchdown favorite here, but no doubt. I would think that the way that the Miami heat will have to approach this game. will try, it would be to try to, because look, I mean, you think heat and Celtics, I mean, you could, I don't know. It kind of brings up some memories like, man, could this really be a bizarre, you know, the total here, 208 and a half, right? Uh, currently right now is that we're showing 209. So I don't know what you guys thought about total so far, but uh, if I'm the heat, I want to step it up here. Don't I? I want to, I mean, and that's not necessarily their type of game here. And they have some other concerns um, with, I think, uh, you know, with moving the ball when you talk about Rozier being out, but, and, and, and the game, I'm, you know, it can get clunky when, with the heat and the Celtics. Right. But if I'm the heat, I want to go, I want a little bit of temp. I want to try as much as I can to, I would think to pace the game up because they do have some, you know, certainly some problems here offensively, the, the challenging situations uh, with, uh, I would think with Martin, with Hawkins, with Bam, even against KP. Now KP, I mean, you know, he's going to be overmatched by Bam a little bit, uh, off, you know, defensively by Bam. But Chad, thank you for those props in there as well. I hope I if, if Chad, if that happens, right, I'm in there. I'm taking the over. If Hawkins gets over 14 and a half points, I mean, I I'm not saying that is one key to getting an over, and that's what I'm taking here on the show is an over, but uh, you know, against against Brown and guys like that, right? And I agree, Terrell, I think that it does go up a little bit here if they if they shoot poorly, yeah, I'm pretty bummed if Hawkes comes through, if Hero comes, because, you know, we need an outpouring of Hero. We need Hero to be, uh, you know, a guy that steps up here uh, in the, if they're going to compete, right? And why wouldn't Javen take a stab? The Heat have won in enough crazy situations, it feels like, in, in situations like this in the past. The organization in a little bit back to the, not even back to the wall. This is game one. Right. So uh, pull it down here, says Jacoby. Just lay some chalk here. So I almost want to even take a stab on the heat money line to a, or, or, or take a position with the heat money line and figure they can they can figure it out. And, you know, really that this is, feels like what they're made and what they're made up for. They're made about the heat. Uh, right. And, you know, the Celtics, there are plenty of ways to go about criticizing the Celtics right now. They're actually doing a quite a good job. Right. For all the times we want to call them uh, soft and, uh, you know, underachieving to a certain extent here. So it's a big injury and realize that. And look, I would think the side, I would think that, uh, you know, with Brown, not mentioning Tatum here, because I think, you know, Hey, the heat front court can do a good job. So, oh, okay, interesting. Always, uh, always good. Dre, Dre leaning heat here with the points like Boston to win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe there can be some fun live betting in this one with a big margin like this. So, uh, that's why I want to take a position like on a Miami money line and uh, see what happens there. Because, look, uh, not talking about. 
uh, Tatum and KP because I think they'll actually probably be held down. I would think that, you know, Miami can do a job in the front court on those guys, but Brown, White, Holland, I'm worried about what the Boston guards can do here offensively. I'll take the over, though. Uh, figure those guys do have a success. The shooting is successful, and I'm going to need success from Miami to get this one to go over here. But uh, look, there are plenty of cappers out there I've seen so far that are uh, laying these points. And I don't know. I, I don't know what the public, you know, I'm, I, I'm supposed to be that guy. And, I, you know, I don't know if I can read the money right here in this one necessarily. Maybe you guys can. I don't mind if you guys are. I don't criticize anybody who ever says, uh, even if they you know disagree with me. All right, let's move on. Thank you. Yeah, good. Cade, Cade. I want to say, I want to go back to cages because I like that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, I might just have changed to KG. And it's good to see you again, uh, KG. Maybe you did that just for, I don't know. You're probably in a bunch of sports chat rooms. Maybe you did that just for me. We're going to switch to KG because uh, don't need a bunch. You know, uh, what if I ever go viral and uh, there's a, a reel of me, cages, all cages, cages. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Lex, thank you for your props as well. And that's, uh, you know, T. Burr, Thomas. All right. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it. And let's move on. We've got a bunch of games to cover today, and we want to do it quickly. And uh, I, I'm not even keeping the, the tally. So we'll just run the picks on the board. I'm going to figure this out one day. I'm going to get a fancy board like Tony and uh, have cool graphics. Um, instead of having to spend a half an hour to run them all. All right, here we go. Hey, my Clippers are in the playoffs. I'm serious, you guys. I'm, I mean, of course. I, I mean, do I like the Lakers? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm from Southern California, and um, the Lakers were all over my TV when I was a kid because that's what you got. That's what you got in San Diego or Lakers games. So I love Chick Hearn. I love the Lakers. I love every Lakers team here and there. But then in 1978, I'm telling my story again. From I'm, It's like I'm starting morning's team all over. But in 1978, when the Clippers came to San Diego and a young boy was keeping score, listening to the radio and writing on a chalkboard, uh, come on, we're going to be able to compete in this game with – the he with the Mavs. I know I know everybody's gonna be on the Mavs. I know all the cappers are gonna be on the Mavs. You know I'm gonna be on the Clippers here, just a, a matter of choice uh here a little bit. Maybe my my gut can tell me that yeah, without Kawhi, I mean I'm the Kawhi fan here of all of us, aren't I? Uh and hey, he's a superstar, man. Come on. I mean, when Kawhi's in there, it makes a huge difference offensively and defensively, certainly. But, man, I'm going to be on the Clippers. I'm going to be on them on the money line probably in this one. Uh, look, they've got a deep, deep team. They've got, uh, you know, uh, look, the rest of the lineup is fine, and they know how to play without Kawhi. I don't know if I can necessarily make many – I don't want to say excuses for the Clippers here. Kay, thank you very much. Drew, thank you very much. We will preview hockey here uh, in just a moment. Uh, and, Dre, look, it's going to be heavy, heavy Mavericks, I'm sure. Cappers are going to be on Mavericks. Maybe the public's rolling on Mavericks uh, here as well. But uh, and, and the Clippers, you know, the Clippers, uh, look, when you got Harden, you got PG, two cups, hello, let's go, Clippers. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I don't want to rattle off a lot of trend, you know, trends here necessarily with this series, but I, 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 and it's built into it's. I don't want to be the the built into the line guy, right? Because maybe, maybe it's not Mavs, you know, Clippers, and eh, some uh, issues here. Solo. Thank you. Great to see you. All right. I mean, Luke is going to have a, you know, Luke is unstoppable. I get all that. And I know the, you know, 
headline here. I don't want to be part of the uh, narrative, uh, if you will. And we're not even counting Kawhi out, I guess, but he is, you know, he's for sure doubtful here. So, all right. So, I, I, you know, maybe it's with my heart more than my head. I mean, everybody's on this one here. And I do know this. The Clippers are going to have to have plenty of defense here in this one. Look at this total, man. And um, some of the games stopped yesterday. I didn't get them all right. I did have a total loser uh, yesterday. Yeah, don't you know? And Jeff Schramm talking about uh, the injury report. Don't forget, but uh, uh, I don't. I, that's let me. See, is this the breaking news, Jeff? Because if so, uh, obviously we're going to have a huge move here. Now you have me stopping the show here to uh, go to the old uh, uh, Twitter verse machine, but. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything right now. Can you help me out here? Because now we're delaying the show on a rumor of a Kyrie Irving injury. And uh, that's gotten me shaken here, actually, uh, at this moment. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna say no, Jeff, and, uh, on that. And maybe that... Uh, uh, oh, maybe he meant... Maybe he meant Kawhi, and, you know, maybe he's got uh, that. So the... Um, or he talked into it or something because, uh, yeah, that, so let's go with, let's just say that's what he meant here. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I'll, uh, hey, uh, you know, I am that guy on the phone that talks to the telemarketer, I think. All right. Uh, we'll just move on from this game. You guys, if you're ready, I've got a premium. Uh, no, I don't actually you have a, a premium in the game just yet. Uh, I, I, my three pack, but I'm, uh, I might be a little, you know, like I said, I'm coming in with the Clippers. I'm a little, you know, I think I'm just a contrarian here a little bit. Oh, it's a question. Okay, no, Kyrie is in and ready to go. Uh, for, re ready to go, yeah. It's just uh, Kawhi is out here, certainly, for the Clippers, and it, it does look uh, very doubtful. But, you know, it doesn't say O-U-T uh, just yet, and... Uh, Kawhi, uh, Tony's made light of it on several shows now uh, across the networks uh, with uh, the way the Clippers handled his injury last time. And, you know, maybe there's a little bit of hijinks. Here's the thing, uh, if I can address something, you know, because, I, you know, follow Tony, man. I'm on Tony's channel. And I'm fired up about the Clippers and their future, uh, even if they did screw up the logo and the marketing. And all. I, like that. I mean, the money does talk, and that's what Ballmer has. I mean, Ballmer used to be cool. He's not anymore, but he's still the owner, and he still has enthusiasm, and I respect that. But uh, he's not that cool owner anymore. It's time to uh, get down to business uh, here with the new facilities for the Clippers. All right, Teresa, hello. All right, and uh, they could do it with uh, by winning this series here. I know what we're saying. Hey, let's pack it up and look toward the future, but um, there's a new Clippers ship apparently. All right, Indiana here and the Bucks, and we know that you know, the, this series is all about Giannis and all about the history of the Pacers really taking it to Milwaukee uh, of late. Now, without uh, – you know, without Giannis uh, being in there here, I would think at this point, um, you know, I don't know how that might affect the situation here with the Pacers and how well they, it's really weird, right? The Pacers have really played well against the Bucks. You can weigh all these factors. I almost have to feel like I'm covering every team again from the beginning because of the hiatus. So I apologize if I'm, I don't want to feel like I'm talking down to anybody here, but just kind of like, I don't, I guess we were still on the air when Doc first got the job uh, with the Bucks and things were going not so smoothly and things still didn't end up going so smoothly. Uh, right. And so why not keep a little bit of momentum here? It feels like with the Pacers moving forward and uh, maybe stealing. I don't know. I want to stay. Look at who's favorite after all here. But uh, man, this total. Uh, now, maybe a little bit was built in because these matchups were kind of set. But I think we knew Giannis was going to be in trouble. But that total of two you know, was much higher than 232, 231 and a half. Much, much higher. And 
these two teams produce outrageous totals with one another. We know that. I mean, every game is like 135 to 131 or 131 to 127. Uh, and the Pacers have been getting the best of them. But it's playoff time now. So I still think that that still goes away a little bit. Maybe one of these games will end up having that. I mean, after all, it is the Pacers. But for all the talk, and we may talked about it even before – the little hiatus about how the Pacers have kind of already erased all the overs that they had in the beginning of the season by eh, not, not probably by playing a little bit better defense, probably by playing a little more respectful and tempo, more, more you know, uh, more professional. I mean, you can't really, sometimes it is a detriment to play a super, a super such a smash mouth pace. Here, so I said smash because I saw Thomas liking smash. Appreciate that. Yeah, Timmy. Yeah, uh, Kawhi could. I mean, there's no doubt. Kawhi is the type that you know, and that's what Tony was saying really on his shows was you can't trust the Clippers, unfortunately, and that's not right, uh, frankly. But also, Kawhi, and you know, I mean, I'm not gonna doubt Kawhi. I mean, he, you know, he seems like the type, right? When he plays, he plays. All right, Latifa, is it over in this one? I think she corrected herself to say that it was, and she wants to go over here again with these two teams because, and look, you're getting great value with this over, it feels like, because it was higher, uh, no doubt about it. And um, over for sure for Fernando. Here's KG on the Pacers. Thomas talking about the dogs here. Pacers money line for solo. Yeah, we want minus one. Pacers get it, says Dre. Hello to Matt today. Thank you. Pacer doubles does like the Pacers here. Don't give any premiums out, doubles, unless you want to. Let me know if it's a premium. Because I, you know, I, I might have noted it down. Because I'll, you know, I should be subscribing to doubles as, you know, the hottest cap, capper in the chat over the last 30 days, right? <laughs> and Latifah had a strong day. Okay. Um, let me make sure. Oh, I, there's Matt with an over. Fernandez, anybody else on the Pacers? I mean, I guess I am. Maybe Latifa is. Oh, Chad. It, now, see, Chad. So, is everyone is is that what the public is perceiving? Maybe I, you know, I mean, I come in here saying, and it, I mean, on my Twitter, right? Oh, I know who the sharps are. Well, I think I know who the sharps are on. Maybe I don't know who the public's on. Maybe that's my, maybe that's my problem. Um, I try to know who the public's on, right? If maybe they are on uh, the Pacers and high score, because that's what's been happening in this series, and everyone thinking about Giannis being out, right? Okay, KG leaning to the under, though. Okay, oh, double city students damage in baseball. All right, Chad going to go with the Pacers too. Well, I mean, Chad, hey, if it's if you and me are on the same side, it's got to make us feel a little better. Hey, Jose uh, Saavedra, uh, nice to see you again. He's on the Pacers today. Uh, Fernando on Villa. Let me mark that down, Fernando. I know that we had our cappers on that, but uh, I tell you what, Fernando, I do think there'll be some goals in that one. I think there will be some goals. What do you think? All right, let's keep it going here, though. <laughs> We've just turned it into Premier League show here. one nothing, uh, Everton. <laughs> hey, Jose, we just talked about the Clipper game. Just back it up. Just back it up a couple minutes. All right. All right. I think we've run out of comments there. So I'm on the Pacers here. Hey, I'm on. Hey, uh, so far, Chad, uh, you'd be proud of, right? I don't know if you're at the beginning. I went 4 0. I'm not pointing out the Chad challenge. I'm just saying, uh, since, uh, since we're back, we're 4 0. 
Four and zero on the show in the NBA. It really helps. It's a playoffs, maybe, because I did do well last season uh, in the postseason. Okay, we're gonna get to baseball. Timmy, nice to see you. All right, all right. Let's go with the final game of the night here in the NBA. Uh, hey, two young, hungry teams playing each other. Uh, too bad. <laughs> uh, these guys, these guys are boss. Um, pretty bummed, certainly about Zion, and that certainly re is reflected in the line here, no doubt about it. Uh, but man, New Orleans has still got a heck of a team, and they've got Jones coming in now. And uh, why wouldn't they be able to compete here still with the Thunder? It feels like now. Uh, I think. You know, no Zion will change things a little bit, but New Orleans can move it a little bit. They should want to move it a little bit here, I would think. Murphy looked really good, didn't he? Uh, why couldn't he have a pretty strong game here against uh, Oklahoma City? Look, Oklahoma City has, you know, SGA, great, de got a defender, right? No doubt about it. Uh, Holmgren. I mean, what can you say about his game? I mean, he does it to me strong. Both, uh, you know, he can. He'll. Hey, I like a home grin to you know. Jonas will do nothing, but the other guy, you know, Murphy, will be hot. I would think Ingram's looking. Man, Ingram's looking nice. I think, and uh, and Jones will be in there. Why wouldn't New Orleans be able to compete here uh, in this game? Hey, Juan Laster, hello. All right. And it's all about Chad. I mean, that's what this show is all about. I mean, uh, we, we might as well just go with uh, Chad. All right. Uh, wrapping up that other game here a little bit. Juan, nice to see you again, man. Uh, Thomas here does like him to win. Uh, Chad here, maybe gonna, maybe gonna say, let's do it. Let's go with the Pels here. Why not? Why not take them on the money line too? Look, I may. Oklahoma City's nice. They're pretty good. Um, uh, I'm going to take the points. If you guys don't have any other comments, I mean, we can uh, move on. I'm not going to point to the trends here necessarily in this one. I, I think it's all about the fact that Zion's out. And the spread's gone up a little bit. You still have a New Orleans team. We know that these are two teams that make us money. It's just a matter of trying to. Um, oh, okay. Thank you, Lex. That's very, very good. That's very, very good. I, I feel bad now. I, I'm. I want to roll with them still. I want to roll with them here. And uh, KG's got OKC. Thomas says uh, win and the underdog covers. Remember that, those stats we talked about? But, uh, again, we only have a couple of closely rated games here today. Juan says team total over, I think that is, for OKC. Uh, Darren, all right. Well, um could happen. I mean, like I said, I like Holmgren. I like Holmgren in this matchup, man. I mean, uh, I think, you know, Holmgren could – He we already know he's a, he's a budding star. Uh, I think in this series it could be a big – if they end up taking care of business in this one, I think Holmgren could end up being the man that ends up uh, uh, really – we'll see what the Thunder can do uh, considering their seating. But – um, you know, again, they're young, but man, I think Holmgren is ready to have uh, a big, big, I think he's ready. I think he's ready to dominate Jonas actually in this uh, series to a certain extent, maybe not dominate. That's, that's tough to say, right? We want to respect everything uh, Jonas does, but I think when it comes down to it, we're going to be talking about Chet if uh, OKC wins this series. All right. Thanks, you guys, for that NBA. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. Yeah, no, it, it will happen. There will be moments. You know it. You know it. 
All right. I'm I'm taking the Pelicans in the opener. I know it was a rough road. I know you have to go through the little circus there. Um, hey, the best lyrics and music is here. What an awesome name uh, to have. Got an OKC blowout, but no, it doesn't matter. Uh, KG's got a blowout as well. But the best lyrics and music, uh, especially from someone who loves a lyricist as much as I do. Um, and what was I just, what was I singing earlier? The legendary song here to, I wasn't singing it, but I was singing the lyrics. All right, Teresa, thank you. <laughs> That's right, Chad. No, Chad, let's roll with the 4-0, man. Playoffs, I'm a new man. Uh, it's not Chad who got me kicked off the air, let's just say. <laughs> All right, let's get to the hockey. we got to keep rolling here, and uh, let's get right to it. I've got picks, and uh, maybe you do too, but uh, I've got a three-pack up right now at tonyspicks.com. Use the promo code TONYT at checkout, save 20%. And uh, three-pack right now for today's action in the NBA as well. There you see them. And, uh, hey, if you want to support me, uh, these three-packs are 25 bucks. I know it's about, uh, you know, uh, eight bucks a play. So you're going to want to play, you know, probably a couple hundred on these games, and I am. But uh, nonetheless, uh, you can ride with me uh, if you'd like, and I appreciate it. Your, your credit's back to your account if I don't cash these uh, packages today. But uh, these are my best plays today over at Tony'sPicks.com. And you get the plays from all the cappers over at Tony'sPicks.com. Click on the Premium Picks tab, and uh, you'll see all the plays that are kind of loaded up so far, uh, including from Doubles. Look at this, everybody. Doubles is here, and he's got a three-pack of those hot baseball games. He said that's where he said he's hot so far. So uh, Tony T's got a three-pack in there as well. And Hollywood Sam's ready to roll. Ron's ready to go. Joseph Schultz has his NBA best bet up there right now. Um, hmm. And Bo has been doing a terrific job. I, I don't know if Bo's in here right now. And let's get Latifa up there. She's in the chat. So let's pop her up there on screen and take a look at her premium pick packages as well. Uh, she's got a, a seven pack of action for thirty dollars. I mean, it, I'm I'm down Latifa uh, here. You know, you'd think I might be on some type of uh, uh, you know freebie here, but no. Uh, Latifa's got a seven pack up there today, and her best bet right there as well for uh, Sunday. All right, I'm just updating my picks to put my little basketball emojis. I wish I had. Uh, Latifah's emoji game. I can only do the little... Well, I guess I could do more, but... All right. Let's get to the hockey here, you guys. And Drew's ready to go. Drew, it's nice to have you, actually, by the way. I'm, I, I, I just said, hey, here's Drew, and here's some picks and what he said, but I don't even know if I've seen you here, or maybe you have, and I haven't been able to acknowledge you before, but everyone else here, I recognize the names pretty seriously. Uh, Drew, not as much, and I appreciate you very much. This is what our show is about, me and these folks in the chat going over some picks for the games. Let's get rolling here with Tampa Bay and Florida in this opener. Man, well, guys, I'm already committed to the Florida Panthers. Uh, I don't know if I, I mean, I surely I said all of my futures plays, and I'm on the Panthers to win the title uh, from back before the my hiatus here over the last couple of months. So got them at, I think, uh, eight to one. <laughs> it's not much better than it's very similar to his right now. I don't know why I played it here. Maybe it is 10 to one, actually. Uh, it's not very uh, far off of that. Um, I, sh I should know heading into the game, and I will by the time they drop the puck here in about two and a half hours. And I'll just roll with them here. I'll take them on the money line. I mean, um uh, here, uh, oh, uh, Fernando's on the uh, series here, looks like, maybe, or no, oh, okay, Thurman Hill, hey, nice to see you, hello, Thurman, and Teresa's already ready to move ahead to the next one, I, but uh, let me just, I'll just give out Florida here uh, as my play in this one, look, uh, Florida, they 
play a lot of unders, um, right? And this one here at five and a half, juice to the over, it actually, I thought, touched six a little bit uh, at one point. I don't know if there are any sixes out there right now. Uh, this, oh, gosh, there's a lot of sixes out there. Bovada's at six over 17, six under seven. 17 and bet online is also at six under 17 right now in the station's casino here close to me uh, over in uh, green valley six under 20 so uh, maybe i'll hit up the app uh, if i like that but i like florida here uh, i'm just like i said tied uh, to the uh, futures here with the panthers and arnez great to see you as well wow hello Great. Fernando over here in this one. Let's take a look. Best lyrics and music. We're right on the same page, it feels like. It's good to have the best lyrics and music. Gosh, I wish I knew more about what your name was all about. And because uh, I love, you know, I love looking up lyrics. I'm that guy. And I'm a monster at karaoke. All right. Dre likes the under one. Uh, oh, skipping ahead already. Latifah, I think, is on this game on the over. That'd be a quick start. Give me the Panthers tonight. Look, I want to respect the Lightning and everything they've done. And, uh, you know, having a goalie like Vasilevsky in there at any time, right? Some of these goalies are in the postseason. They could be those uh, playoff goalies. Who's going to be that guy, right? Sometimes there's always one or two guys that get hot and change the course of their franchise it feels like and i don't know the way that tampa's history uh this you know florida battle even though the panthers have the uh, home ice here it does feel like i've got reinhardt in my pool i'm in a pool over there on one of those cha- on that pool channel and uh you know we're on the 40,000 subscriber juggernaut don't get me wrong but uh hey if anybody uh oh it already closed. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I wanted people to join me in the in the pool over there. And uh, I've got Reinhardt. You pick some players. All right. Gerardo might be in that pool if he's in there. All right. Thanks for your great comments, you guys. Uh, I didn't even go over the... I wanted to, you know... They told me get into the pick, so don't talk about the uh, you know, yesterday is so much, but man, I like talking about the games and uh, everything that happened. Right, Thomas? Well, the thing is, especially in the playoffs, Thomas, so you really just have to draw the line, and there's nothing I could do, right, other than trying to craft a play to get you on a plus money here. I mean, and I don't even know if I would trust, uh, but, you know, uh, the one thing with playoffs, the empty netter, it kind of comes into play a little bit more. It comes it kind of comes less into play because overtime is so awesome and you can really have some crazy things happen with, hey, look, I get it. It's 2024. We play three on three. You know, we, we play our little special hockey at the end of the game. We have the shootout, but not anymore. And, you know, some of these crazy games, it can be, you know, 2-2 two, two for the longest time, man. And that's fine. And that's what it feels like here. All right. All right. Let's move on. I'm on the Panthers. And so we just talk about the prices. So you just got to make a choice, right? And you can try to lay. Uh, one thing I do like to do is sometimes lay two goals. And uh, if you can at some books and, um, you know, get that price down from the two and a half. But uh, or, or, you know, OK, caps here. Oh, <laughs> let's. You guys have we have already had three picks on the so everyone's fired up for this one and uh, why I like the Caps to hang in here uh, best lyrics for music why not to look Rangers are awesome no doubt about it but hey you know what that's what's maybe special about these you know the way the playoffs are set up in the NHL you're getting the familiar matchups here feels like no reason. But Washington can't hang in here in a one-goal game. And, again, you're getting – when you're seeing this price, you're talking about expensive, right? 240 and eh, that might be a little square. I think you can go to the sharp books if you want to lay it and get a 225 or 230 But 
I'd rather take the Capitals. And even if this is one where you did buy it to my, uh, you know, to a, a plus two, because you know, if you take a plus one and a half here with the Capitals, it's minus a dollar thirty-five. I get that, you know. So that's what we're talking about with the price. But that's because playoff hockey, man, is just always supposed to be a one-goal game. I, I get it, Thomas. It might be, you know, a way to sit. That's why I have so many totals and. Well, quite frankly, my premiums are usually totals because usually you're only dealing with anywhere between, you know, minus 110 or less, uh, you know, to minus 130 or so. And I just like that better. Trey caps and under here. I like the caps. I'll take them on the puck line plus minus $1.35. want to, you know, try to be cool and win plays on the show. I don't care about laying some juice. I mean, I'll probably, you know, maybe sprinkle it. Uh, a little bit, but I've got some interest in some of the Rangers players. So let me take the caps here in this one uh, on the, on the puck line. I mean, on a lot of these $2 games in these early rounds, well, there, you know, there's only a couple of series where that's going to be the case, a few series, but uh, certainly here, uh, I would think that uh, it has caps. I mean, I'm going to take a little familiarity here. Love Igor, love the Rangers, man. They're awesome. Hey, they're awesome. Uh, you know, they're, certainly in line to uh, run deep, but so are several other teams at this point. And, um, you know, Washington did a good job of not fading uh, after having such a good start. Everyone said, hey, yeah, no doubt about it. <laughs> no doubt about it, Salty. And, uh, but yeah, we know how it goes. Uh, Thomas, uh Sometimes you got to bet part of your stake on one and a half and one on two and a half if you can't find your, your book that does that too, gives you that too. That's always a possibility as well. And you can actually, you know, mix up the money a little bit and uh, a little risk avoidance. Is that if did I make that? Okay. Oh, always. Uh, well, yeah, Jeff, I see what you're saying. Uh, no, I, I, you know, I think in regular season, it's much more, right, right? So that's what you're saying, more of a consideration. And uh, maybe for some of those higher price favorites, you can still look at it that way. No problem. Uh, you know, at Tony'sPicks.com, the premium selections are always good, but I don't mind if uh, someone takes a premium selection. You know, when I make a premium selection, Jeff, right? So you can make deriv derivatives out of that. I mean, a premium pick should win. <laughs> And, you know, uh, there's ups and downs. We know that. So, <laughs> all right. And, uh, all right, Lex. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, the cap, like, right, the caps, they, you know, sure, they have their limitations. But, uh, you know what? It was a, they were in position at the end of the season. All those other teams that didn't get in, I mean, they were, battling for those spots too so whether they choked or who got in or whatnot so all right no hold on matifa we got to get to the colorado winnipeg game first hey hi george nice to see you yeah well that's the crazy thing right george is that man there's always a new champion so it's so tough for the best team to win, it feels like, because of just the way hockey is, it feels like, right? All right. Let me move on. I think I'm in there, right, with Washington. All right, we got to go Cal uh, Avalanche and Jets here. It's already uh, one almost an hour in. We got a baseball card to talk about. But we've got NHL playoff action. Let's continue on here with Colorado going up here against Winnipeg. And, man, I mean, if you took the names off the front of the jerseys or, I don't know, put some blank jerseys on them, uh, the Jets have the home ice here, obviously, right? You wouldn't be able to tell – well, you'd be able to tell them apart. You would be able to tell them apart. But, I mean, you wouldn't be able to, like, discern that, you know, I'm just saying the Avalanche have the names. They have the name of the front of the jersey. They have the names on the back of the jerseys, right? They're the team, but the Jets had a strong season. They've got a goalie who definitely can be, who probably would be, I would think, expected to be that guy if the Jets are going to have a 
somehow save this situation. Now, look, it's going to be loud tonight, but the Winnipeg Jets aren't still without their problems uh, in Winnipeg long term. They cannot, I mean, they can easily lose a series to the Avalanche. I get that, especially considering the Avalanche are favored in the series. And uh, the Avalanche is always, they feel like the public team to me. I mean, I, I don't know if I need to look at any ticket counts or anything or even in the series here. Feels like the Jets are the sharp side. It's kind of what I'm getting at. And I think this game's going to be, you know, I know, look, the thing with Gurdjieff is, uh, yeah, the numbers aren't great. You may be, if you're the Avalanche, this is what you got. And maybe it could have been better. Maybe you wish it was. But you could have a worse goalie in there. And uh, yeah, the Jets can, you know, we know that they if they get into a low-scoring game here, uh, that might be the way to go, right? Now, these teams aren't necessarily always defensive-minded, especially uh, the Avalanche. We know how crazy they can be with their uh, scoring. Let me get some comments in here. You guys are going off, and I'm... Teresa wants bank here. Oh, <laughs> we're on the next game already. I hope Dre loves the under in the Colorado Winnipeg game. I'm going under in this one. Uh, Best Lyric says, uh, going to go over a juice to likes of alternate over here. Yeah, and that was a big game, right? I mean, that was why we're in this situation. Why did the Avalanche, you know, El Foldo in that game? I know the Winnipeg. I want to say to a certain extent that Winnipeg needs to win this series. We already saw the Arizona Coyotes move, you know, Salt Lake City. I'm not saying the Winnipeg Jets are ready to move just yet, but there are some big problems there. And it feels like maybe they could save something here by doing something in this year's playoffs. And no better way to get it started than beat the Colorado Avalanche. So it just feels like the Jets are the sharp side and the public side, but they're still favored in this game. So I'm just going to take the under here. I'd have, you know, I might have concerns, but maybe it goes over time. Maybe it's 1-1. Maybe it's 2-2. Best lyric says, give me the Canucks. Thank you, George. And, uh, yeah, I mean, no, there's no doubt. I mean, I think Gurdjieff was supposed to be. But remember, when he kind of started being the, you know, he was kind of a measure, right? He was kind of a guy that they needed to kind of come in. And, and he kind of earned the earned this uh, job. So I'm going under, though, in this one. And. I'll tell you what, I'm, you know, Winnipeg, they don't have necessarily the um, the big names right at the top of the scoring list, if you will. Uh, it, but they've got uh, some really solid, solid guys. I mean, I'm, you know, I know I'm involved <laughs> with some of their guys. I mean, I, I'd like them to run pretty deep. And I took some Winnipeg guys because I thought they might run pretty deep. So. All right, got your plays in there, and one more now on hockey, and then we got to get to baseball. By the way, I'm on the under, Colorado and Winnipeg. Get my premium pick that's in my package for that game. All right, the Predators are going to take on the Canucks here in this one with uh, Sarish and Demko. I typed these in last night. I didn't even check. I mean, it's a playoffs. I'm not expecting any goalie changes off of uh, what everybody's expected. So apologize if I was uh, off on anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, no, I'm tempted to look here just because it's the first day of the first series. But 
All right. All right. Let's go roll with this one. And I uh, saw you guys already had some picks here uh, in this one. This one feels like kind of the toughest one for me to a certain extent. Look, the Canucks, maybe they, maybe you think that is, oh, this might be a goal for Everton right here. Uh, maybe it is a decent price uh, for uh, Vancouver here in this one, considering, uh, you know, I don't know, pretty great success that they had, but Nashville does feel live here, and I don't know if you guys think this is going to be it's five and a half over 20. I know we're in the playoffs, but I don't know if these guys are definitely going to be a clutch, clutch defensive situation, and yeah, where are, I might have to scroll back and find the plays you guys were talking about in the last game here. There it was, Teresa on Vancouver. Was there another one? Oh, Latifa, she'll probably come back with it. Let me see here. Let me get your plays out here on this one before I kind of uh, – make the call. I'm kind of thinking about saving the, I'm not sure yet. I mean, this is the last game I have on my three pack of the three games. I might just roll with you guys here at this point. I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over. I, I was kind of thinking about saving uh, maybe keeping the over as a premium, but I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's premium worthy. I couldn't put it in there necessarily uh, in the package right away. And I'm still even thinking, you know, about it as I was coming on the air and I didn't even have a pick necessarily slotted for this game. I was like, man, I, you know, I don't premium pick every playoff game, but nearly every one I do. All right. Let me see here. <laughs> Timmy talking about the uh, wide outs at Winnipeg. Drew says, what about Demko? And well, we look. I mean, what a what a season, right? Okay, a few a few more here. All right, here we go. Now I find them. Darren Vancouver money line and under. And Drew has it. Looks like a blowout. Latifa says maybe it's going to be a tie. Maybe it's going to be overtime. And. Juan's got Vancouver here on the puck line. Jeff says Canucks to roll. Dre's on Vancouver. And I'm going to I'm going to take the over at five and a half. And Best Lyrics got a team total in Nashville under. Thanks for your plays, you guys. And and I just have the three, and I'll go with the over as my play here on the show. But uh, I think the cappers will probably be. I, I don't know. I, I don't know I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to reserve what I'm going to say about the side. All right, here we go. Let's go to Major League Baseball. Thank you for your hockey picks. And we got to roll with this one. With these, uh, with these plays. I'll have a baseball card up. I just wanted to kind of see what I was going to do here, getting with the show and getting with the flow. Because uh, yesterday, not bad, not bad with our show picks. Um, actually, pretty darn good uh, with the picks here on the show yesterday. Um, not all winners, but... Certainly had some good ones. All right, let's roll. And we're going to go in chronological order on these games today, including the doubleheader. And by the time I finished, I didn't even know what I went on the last two games. Going to have to manage my time better hosting this show, getting back in the flow of the morning steam. Thanks, everybody. Let's roll with baseball. We got our crew in here. And, okay, I'm ready now. With Brewers and the Cardinals. Uh, oh, do I have Hall in there and not Colin Ray? Is that right? Has there been a... Uh, or do I have the wrong... Have I messed up already here on the... Uh, 
Okay, maybe I am in rotation order. Sorry, you guys. I want to go in chronological order, actually. Let me let me catch up here. Uh, what, what what does Tony say? You got to move the chains. Uh, here we go, Tampa Bay. Here we go, Tampa Bay. And uh, don't let me Latipa get who was it? Latipa that used to you know make sure I was on the right games and everything. Or who was that? Remember that back in the day? I'm seeing a little bit of breaking news information here. Let me see if it's anything big. White Sox and Phillies, a game coming up. Oh, we got all the rest today from the White Sox. Uh, uh, resting players here, the awesome White Sox, you know, because they don't need their players. They're going to give them a rest day. But uh, Vaughn, Lee, Fletcher, DeJong, not in the starting lineup today against the Phillies. So, you know, you're only, you know, plus 270. You might as well. you got to give these guys a rest. All right, here we go, Rays and Yankees. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay, thanks. Somebody set me straight there in the chat. JJ, hello. Hi, JJ. Nice to see you again. And he's got me straight. Yeah, I think I just had the old banners up is what I think it was. So uh, I'll get it right here and make sure we get all the right games. Um, like I said, just getting, in the, just getting back in the swing, right? When we, I used to be pretty good at this, so uh, we'll get it back. So we're starting. We're sorry about that confusion there. We're starting with Rays and Yankees, of course. And I am falling so far behind here because I because you guys are correcting me. There we go. All right, Double says that's his Twitter pick today. Antonio Davis, hello, nice to see you. Welcome to the morning steam. Uh, I'll have some good picks here in just a moment. I want to see your picks. Uh, Jay, don't worry about the Rays. They'll come back a little bit. These are the Rays after all. And I'm sure that they'll be uh, coming back here. Dre's on the over. Uh, look, this one really has seen a pretty strong move uh, to the over, actually. I believe this one actually was uh, as low as seven and a half over 25 is that right yeah but now at eight and a half i'm, I'm going to be probably coming back on the under savali has a 2.74 era so far this season while uh, gill comes in here currently with a uh oh a 3.86 era uh, so far this season. Now the Yankees are already up five units uh, this season. I'm not sure. I don't know about the side necessarily. I want to give the Rays a chance here with Savali. He has that, you know, he's looked pretty good so far. Uh, both guys ranking right up there about a 30% K rate in this one. So uh, I'm going to end up on the under here as my play on the show with the Rays and the Yankees. Uh, look, I tried to go over yesterday. That didn't work. And I would think here Savali might be in pretty good position uh, in this one. And, of course, when you're talking about the division rivalry, I, I like division games under. Uh, that's where I always kind of start from, uh, you know, when preparing uh, you know, to look at my totals the way I do, but uh, it's not hard and steadfast necessarily. But Yankees so far, 2.75 uh, bullpen ERA. We know the Rays can improve. Uh, they're usually a lot better, but right now they're at a 5.5 bullpen ERA. Blake's on the Yankees. Juan likes the Yankees. Uh, maybe Latifa says, give me the Yankees. Hello, Justin's here today. All right. Dre likes the over in the Yankee game. Drew's on the Yankees here on the money line. Hope I got that right, Drew. On, on the run line, I'm sorry, brother. You're on the uh, run line. And uh, Fernando says, everyone go take the Rays. The whole chat's on the Yankees. Uh, go take the Rays. And uh, quite frankly, uh, Fernando, I might. Oh, okay. <laughs> he fooled me because I kind of want to go on the Rays. Uh, here today, you guys, uh, actually, but you guys are all in the Yankees. I'm not going to step, I'm not going to get in the way. Just give me the under here. If I, if I bet on the Rays, I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm not going against the, I'm not going against team steam, right? 
This is a uh, uh, first five, Darren, first five here. John Tate, hello, nice to see you as always. Great to, say, great to have you back. Jeff, first five under. All right. And Thomas, <laughs> is it a premium? Uh, yeah, that's a, like a private private play. And then I'll be like, I'm not even going to say I bet on the Rays. And Okay, let's keep going on with uh, Latifah's Phillies. She'll get us caught up here, I think, in this one. Make sure I got the order right. Did I get it right? Uh, just gave you that breaking news there, by the way, with, uh, you know, the – Lineups. Oh, let me see. I got the Tampa Bay and the Yankees uh, situation too. Let me see if I have something here with the Yankees game today. No, I don't have anybody unusually uh, out of this lineup right now. Okay, let's just continue on. Uh, anyway, so the White Sox have already announced several players out of the lineup getting their rest today. So I don't know. The Phillies are up to 315, 320. I guess, you know, four guys, four regulars for the uh, White Sox must make a big difference of 10 or 15 cents when you're talking about a $3 plus favorite. Uh, I tried to get cute yesterday and take the White Sox in my return to the air, or maybe that was actually with Tony. Uh, I was like on a look at me, look at me kind of thing because he promoted the show like hey we're coming back but i think i learned my lesson there i did give out the under last night in this one i mean you got nola here against this lineup that got shut out yesterday seven to nothing so um i will tell you this right now uh, you guys so I know that I'm a big mover of the lines because I'm because I'm here on the air on YouTube is one of the first shows uh, on the air. But right now the Tampa Bay Yankees game that was the news that that was the blip that came across. I turned it down the Steam Play thing, you guys. I don't know if uh, maybe I should keep it on, but the Yankees game is going down right now. That total uh, it's going under to eight over fifteen. I'm kidding you. It wasn't me that. Uh, set this chain maybe it was but uh, right now that eight those eight and a half unders are turning into eight over 15s right away so I think everybody's seeing what I was seeing with that Tampa Bay Yankee game right now that total under that I gave out it's going under already and it is right now so all right oh gosh did they really I thought it was seven to nothing what did the final score end up being Jeff maybe I tuned out <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I left the game at seven to nothing uh, yesterday. And what was the final? What did the final score end up being? Uh, nine to five. Okay, <laughs> they actually did come back. So, uh, wow, I gave out the under last night on the show. Maybe that wasn't so great. Maybe they will crush them. But I want to give Nestrini uh, a chance here. I, I think you know, hey, the White Sox are going to roll with some young guys. I'm going to think that. Uh, you know, he had a good outing in his first game, or well, for a, for a White Sox, you know, young pitcher. Uh, steam came rolling in already on the Phillies here. Blake wants to go under in this one. I'm going to try it too. Why wouldn't Nola just roll through, uh, you know, seven innings here at least, right? Seven innings. If they have the lead, take them out, whatever. Maybe they'll go, maybe it will go over, but. Uh, I'm going to end up taking the uh, Phillies here on the show, and I did give out the total last night with Tony if you want to check out that video, but some of the guys in the chat might have already uh, given it away a little bit. So, all right, and uh, just to give me the Phillies to roll here. I, I can't get in the way of this situation right now. Uh, with the White Sox until they get off a 175 winning percentage or whatever it is. It might be worse than that right now. Uh, I'm not going to uh, – I don't know. Every situation is different. Tomorrow I might be on the White Sox. I'm kidding. I'm not that – No, there are no do-not-bet lists here uh, with Ramon Scott, but uh, every situation is different. I'll lay it today, uh, the one-and-a-half at minus – what is it, 145, 155 by now. I don't even want to waste time looking it up, but I'm going to. 160 and counting. Get it now while it's hot. Get it now while it's gone. Okay. Are we on? Uh, do I still have this game screwed up? This is supposed to be Colin Ray and Sonny Gray. 
Okay. I, I, I here we go. I, I just have two games in here. Like I typed in, like I skipped them from yesterday because we know that. Um, here it's okay. Here we go. Make sure I don't miss one, Latifa. This is right. I, let me do, just delete that. Why? I don't know. I, it's like I skipped over two games or something. Now we're good. Man, I've wasted like five minutes on the show because I can't because I didn't delete those graphics. All right, Red Sox and the Pirates here uh, in this one, and well, with Winkowski in there, I I don't know. Uh, kind of concerned here about the Red Sox at this point. I mean, yeah, they're twelve and ten. I'm talking more maybe about this spot. This is going to be a bullpen game with Winkowski starting. Um, you know, he's already had seven appearances this season. Perez. Uh, 2.55 ERA, whenever you want to kind of make fun of Perez or whatever, seems to be coming along and, you know, pitching just fine. He's got a, a 253 batting average against, 295 BABIP, 7% walk rate. Red Sox won the first two games of this series, but I don't know if they're going with a bullpen game here. Uh, I'm going to end up on the Pirates, I think, here. I don't see anybody with any pick here in this one necessarily, but I'm going to take the Pirates. I kind of wanted to go with them uh, as a premium here, but and I haven't you know, made out my package yet. I'm maybe going to include the Pirates, but uh, I don't know about the total here in this game just yet. So give me the bucks here. Uh, we'll lay, lay a little bit of a price. I mean, it looks like it's up to $1.50 now, even at some spots. Uh, right now, and I'll take the Pirates to grab a game here. A couple guys got the Bucks with me. Uh, several do. So all I got to say is my pick. See, Matt says over. I'm going to mark that down, Matt. I'm looking. Hey, uh, right, I'm going to have that on one of my screens. So if I can't get a bet myself, I'll just bet. I'll just tail Matt. I'm not afraid to tail my favorite cappers. Team Steam. Pirates first five for Dre and Drew says the same thing here. How about that? It's got to be worth something. That's that's why I thank you guys for being uh, the chat all stars. I mean, yes, maybe people who want to see uh, if I've got a pick or a trend or whatever I've got, but I feel like what we have is yes, you guys are representative of the public to a certain extent, and people want to see what people are on. So I think that's the important part of the Team Steam chat. Um, we talk about what the public is on. I'm not calling you guys public at all. You guys are sophisticated. This is hardcore sports betting talk, after all. This ain't fluffy sports betting talk, I don't think, with me uh, on here. So I think people just like to see what people are on and kind of make their um, help formulate their opinions a little bit. Talk about some of the reactions, you guys, uh, you know, when a team is so one side. Okay, give me the Pirates here in this one uh, with Perez. Still getting it done after all these years. And uh, I'll take him here uh, in the matchup. I was going to look at the some of the splits, but I'm going to have to be a little bit more prepared. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I agree with that, Thomas. They want what they want. If they can get two, right, uh, two. That's the way I always kind of look at things, too. I always want to. It's kind of like an old – I'm an old reporter. I don't know if you guys know that. I was like a, you know, like I was a sports writer. But, I mean, um, when you are getting, when you are information sharing, get right, Drew, it's like uh, you always confirm your sort. You always confirm, right? You get one lead, but you got to get it from a second person. What do they call that? All right. Astros and Nationals here in this one. And, well, uh, now the Astros are back up to 190 favorite here. You know, Parker uh, just had a good outing in his debut against the Dodgers. Now, uh, Javier has good numbers, but his long-term metrics are not that sharp. 
but he's faced that same situation before where he's had poor numbers and he's still, yes, there will be regression. The number, you know, 154 ERA pretty low. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he's not going to finish with a 1.54 ERA. Regression is coming on some of these numbers, including probably that, uh, you know, he's got a 219 BABIP right now. And uh, well, 11% walk rate is a concern here. But, uh, you know, been, these teams have been involved in some unders, certainly, so far. And uh, I gave out the total last night. If you want to check out that video, I talked about it with Tony with uh, on the show last night. But I'm grabbing the Nationals here on the run line. I mean, you have a Nationals team that, you know, uh, they're up four and a third units at home this season. The Astros are down almost 12 units already uh, this season. Parker was a $3 underdog or even more in that game against the Dodgers. Uh, the Dodgers end up losing to the Nationals in that game 6-4. to four. So um, I think Javier is still going to be effective here in this game. Maybe there are some concerns long-term uh, that – uh, he might actually be uh, regressing quite a bit, but so far, four starts, three unders, and Parker, that game actually had 10 runs, but I'm going to take the Nationals here on the run line in this one, and Salty said, you know, cashed on him yesterday, and uh I did as well. We won our totals play here on the show yesterday with the over. It got, it got steamed to the over yesterday, and uh, that was fine. I was in pocket, actually, with the Nationals. I wasn't on the public record, but just have to take my word for it. No reason for me to just make things up here, but I'm going public today. Give me the Nationals. Yeah. When are they going to get it rolling here, right, uh, Thomas? I mean, 7-15 and 15 right now. Seven and fifteen, biggie. That's what you know. Nationals, uh, been a money maker. Nats for Blake. Nats for Nando. It's a lot of nationals, so Darren under here in this one. All right. I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, let's keep going. Okay, we got the playoff on that one. Uh, the A's here going up against the Guardians. And uh, Ross Stripling here comes in uh, with a 5.3 ERA. And... Uh, Tanner Bybee, 4.82 ERA so far this season. Man, a $2 favorite here. Stripling is uh, – here's the thing. Uh, A's are 0-4 with Stripling on the mound, and the Guardians are 4-0 with Tanner Bybee on the mound so far. So, I don't know. Maybe $2 looks a little bit cheap. I think I think people are going to be rolling here possibly with the Guardians, and I don't know. Maybe they can put up uh, some runs here. They're averaging over – Five and a half runs a game. And while that might be a little much for Cleveland, what we've expected in the past, I don't know. Maybe this offense does have some improvement to it and uh, keep it going. Now we are playing the A's here. And well, Stripling, eh, uh, you know, those numbers are a little bit gaudy. Bybee 4.82. Did I mention that? So uh, should be a pretty good matchup here, I would think. Let me see them splits here on this one yeah see Oakland I, I'm gonna need a little bit of more offense with them and what's the total so is it seven and a half still because I I'm gonna end up going over uh, I, I don't know if I can lay what is the price with uh, Cleveland minus one and a half is at plus 115 yeah feels like the athletics of, might be able to come in there and sneak in on the on the run line still, boy. I'm gonna just gonna go over here in this one. Feels like you know the Guardians should crush. And I've been looking for spots. I I'd rather play the A's obviously at this point than the White Sox. We're talking about some of these bad teams. A's eight and thirteen, uh, but the Guardians. What could you say? Fifteen and six. One of the best 
uh, best teams going right now. Been terrific so far, but seven and a half. I'm going to look for them to get the offense going a little bit. Bybee's gone three and one to the over so far this season. Thomas likes the Guardians. He also likes. Uh, is it under on this game? Double says that price just too high. Can't go a dollar ninety. Cleveland minus one and a half. That's the way I feel, Matt. Too. I feel like I want to do it uh, here in this one and lay it. Um, probably can't do it as a premium. I don't even know if I can do it here on the show. I kind of want to, but I'm just going to take the over and think that Cleveland. You know, what if it's five to four? I'm not. I shouldn't be worried about that. Uh, the way that you know Cleveland's playing right now and uh, with. Uh, Oakland not quite averaging three runs offensively right now. I think Fernando's saying minus two and a half here on the Guardians. Cleveland run line. Okay, Blake's with me on the over. Thomas, though, has under and a no runs first inning here. Salty's got a par for us. Latifa on the over. And uh, no, I no, Thomas, I'm with Cleveland. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm uh, not down on Cleveland necessarily at all, especially in that, you know, right now. I mean, they're off to a hot start, and in that division, I mean, a hot start. You could put, uh, you could put somebody away, uh, but it's just that uh, right now we are seeing. Uh, obviously, Kansas City uh, making a little bit of noise, and Detroit staying above five hundred. Yeah, well, there's some ebbs and flows in Major League Baseball, though. We know that. All right. I'll take the over here in this one. And I wouldn't, you know, I'm not, I ain't going to at you. Uh, it's not a bad return. I mean, for a Cleveland team, uh, that is absolutely rolling. And, yeah, maybe the A's have surprised. But 8-13, and 13, it sounds like a good, like, wow, 8-13, and 13, that's pretty good. That's not really great. <laughs> it sucks, but. Uh, for Oakland, maybe it is a game or two better than what you might even have expected at this point. Uh, you want worry for a team like the White Sox uh, right now. Okay. I keep going here. Let's get this show over with. Angels and Reds. Well, we had this one uh, right yesterday, you guys, here on the show. We gave out the over with the Angels and the Reds, and, man, they got off to a flying start in that one. Tell you what, I'm going to come right back on the over. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm just a guy that plays a lot of overs in Reds games. I love that little band box. And uh, when I got uh, Soriano here uh, and Montas, Soriano 4.8 ERA so far. Uh, actually, his numbers aren't too bad. He's got a 222 BABIP. But Cincinnati, they, I don't know, I, I, I kind of think Cincinnati might be able to get this one at home. Uh Angels have lost both games with Soriano as a starter so far. Uh, Cincinnati split their games with Montas and um, Angels at nine and twelve here. But uh, I'm going to go over. I think the the Reds might get this one. I don't know if I'm ready to pull the trigger just yet. Could still do it. But give me the over here at least on the show right now with the Angels and the Reds. Uh, today in this one, the Reds are averaging five and a half runs so far this season and have gone over in 13 of 20 games. So give me the over here. Darren's on the Reds. I think uh, Thomas is on the Reds. And uh, Jeff maybe reminding me to give a little weather update here today. And I would, and in this one, oh, the wind is blowing straight out to center field, just uh, seven, eight, nine miles an hour. Temperatures uh, in the low 50s here in this one. And a chance of rain, actually, at the start of the game, but may not delay the game. All right. And doubles here, liking... Uh, 
like in the De La Cruz here in this one. And look, I mean, that Reds, what can you say about this Reds lineup too? I guess maybe, hey, look, I don't want to go in every time. I mean, this show's here every day. I make picks. Uh, but uh, right now, uh, this lineup certainly has to be considered uh, pretty hot here at this point. Uh, Steer is doing an awesome job. I don't know if these guys can keep it up. But, uh, Steer is doing an awesome job. Uh, De La Cruz, wherever you bat him, he can do the job here, right? Uh, Jake Fraley, wow, these guys. All right. I'll go over for sure. Angels, not certainly not, interestingly, not a great matchup for uh, some of these guys against Montas, but you just kind of wonder. I mean, you know, Angels certainly a bottom, near a bottom five lineup right now, but, you know, Montas uh, certainly, uh, yeah, not the best, uh, not the best of matchups, but only need a little per, bit of production from the Angels here, and they are in Cincinnati. And and again, uh, with the line, I mean, the, they're ex expected, uh, you know, run total uh, in this game, uh, you know, has to be considered. Talking about the Angels, what is their team total? Four over, four four over, four over, four and a half under. I got. <laughs> Making I'm checking. I gotta check now. Four and a half under twenty-five. Yeah, both teams four and a half. Juice to the over, juice to the under. So, so the Angels should get their share. Okay, uh, spent too much time on that, but I've got the over again. I'm just gonna go right back to the well. Sometimes, all right. Orioles and Royals in this one, and uh, you know I didn't want. Hey, I'm I'm. I don't mind Lugo. Now I'm. It's easy with uh, coming off of a good performance. Uh, so for several good performances, I mean Lugo so far, uh, four games and a 1.05 ERA, a three and O record here for Lugo for these Royals. And I like Lugo, but um, you know some team you know just gave up on him. I guess uh, so far a 1.05. Whip going against Jake Irvin here. Irvin a 6.75 ERA in three starts. The uh, Orioles have won two of his three starts so far. You got two teams with good records here. Orioles doing a great job thus far. And earning favoritism does kind of worry me a little bit. I mean, you would have thought, I mean, I don't know what it would have taken, but you could have considered like, oh man, the Orioles will be favored in that early April series in that. Uh, April series against the Royals for sure, right? Well, the Royals have kind of earned the respect here, I think, of betters. So I can't go as a premium, but I'm going to give out the Royals here in this one for sure. Uh, I like the Royals to win this game. Uh, Orioles are mashing, right? I mean, they're doing a terrific job averaging nearly six runs a game so far this season, but I think Lugo can have a decent matchup here against uh, against them. And, uh, again, these two lineups, pretty solid, man. Uh, maybe there will be some runs. I don't know if Lugo can hold these guys down right now to all those, but I think in the end Kansas City can get it, even though, uh, you know, uh, Irvin against uh, some of these lefty uh, against Vinny, against Melendez, probably be okay uh, matchup for him there, but I'll still take the Royals, and I can't go. I, I thought I was going to have a premium here, but – not if we're going to lay it um, too late now. I mean, it is 115, 120, 122, 110 at Circa. So, all right, go ahead and give me the Royals uh, against Baltimore here. And Thomas, it looks like he's on Kansas City. Blake's on Kansas City. Uh, Fernando can only lean towards him. Wow, a lot of Royals support. I thought... You know, I mean, I know we're DM we're DMV heavy here on our, on our show, but um, maybe a situation, maybe Urban, maybe they're seeing, maybe what we're seeing, maybe Urban isn't what he's what they are going to need him to be uh, just yet. Uh, right now, a three seventy five Babbitt for Jake Urban. So, all right, well, Lugo's a pitch to contact kind of guy. That's tough though against the uh, Orioles the way they're uh, mashing. Okay. More Royals action. Wow. Guess it's a consensus. 
Tigers and Twins. The old matchup here in this one with uh, Mize going up against Varland. And, well, you know, Mize, uh, hey, it's going to be a bumpy road if you're going to be a star pitcher. But so far, 4.11 ERA, uh, uh, 242 batting average against, but a 292 BABIP so far going up here against the Twins and that struggling offense, man. Uh, both teams kind of struggling offensively. The Tigers averaging uh, 3.75 runs per game, I believe, uh, so far this season, maybe a little more. But uh, for the Twins, just uh, scoring 3.5 so runs, uh, 3.5 runs so far this season, and a seven and 12 record for Minnesota. And you have Varland here; he's lost all three of his starts. Mize doesn't have a record to show for his three starts so far this season. But I'm going to have to try to keep rolling here. I think with the Tigers a little bit. Series is tied right now and uh, one apiece uh, yesterday. Uh, following yesterday's game. And we did give out the Twins here on a little bit of contrarian because Ober has just been really solid. So I don't know here with Varland, 8.36 ERA so far for Varland and a 369 batting average against and a 422 BABIP. Now, certainly they'll be, uh, you know, come back to the pack there a little bit, but maybe I'll try one more time with Mize here as a uh, slight, uh, is that price right? Make sure here, and uh, yeah, the twins are a favorite now. They're probably not a dollar 20 anymore, maybe people feeling like I do. But, um, my compete, my, my numbers have the Tigers as a slight favorite in this one. All right, I think we might have some uh, injury information here. Look, I gave out the over in the Oakland Cleveland game, but the total is definitely moving now down, and that's because. A couple of players are going to be out for Cleveland today, including Jose Ramirez. He'll be resting today, as will uh, center fielder Tyler Freeman. Those guys will be out for Cleveland. Hey, we're stuck on the over here. And, well, you know, I know some guys are on the run line there. Uh, do you like to have Ramirez in there? No big deal. I mean, uh, I'm still going to have a pretty lopsided uh, lineup here for Cleveland. And uh, one other game with, uh, I think we have their uh, – announcements from some players sitting out Sunday and we'll get that on Sundays if you remember during baseball season and the Royals are going to have uh, several regulars out of the lineup so just gave out the Royals guys and maybe this why uh, the line I said it was moving a little bit uh, for the Royals you're going to have uh, four regulars not in the lineup here Velasquez, Massey, Isbell and Beatty. Uh, you know, for the Royals, I mean, you're not dealing with, I'm not talking superstars. This is hardcore sports betting information. going to give you uh, when starters are out of the lineup, certainly here, and the Royals are electing. Uh, we just don't have the other ones. Maybe uh, the Orioles will have some as well. All teams rest, you know, more players on a Sunday sometimes. So just keep those in mind. We'll give you some more here if we get them. Um, as we get them here on the show. All right. All right. Looks like we've got uh, some plays here with the Tigers. we got the Tigers here. Shram on the money line. Uh, Tigers game to go under eight. And Darren on the Tigers. And he's on the first five as well. I'm on the Tigers here. Whoops. Thomas back on that game. Uh, here's Timmy Two Shoes on the Tigers. And <laughs> right, Jeff, they're just standing around. I mean, but I don't know. I, I, you know, now maybe I was a little crazy, but I'd play my softball game every night and I'd be sweating out there. But that's because I'm, over, you know, probably overweight and with a poor diet. Hey, a little bit of move here. I just want to get back to one of the games. We talked earlier about Washington, and uh, I gave out the run line there in that game against the Astros. Man, the Washington Nationals are getting hit pretty good here uh, from some steam right now. I'm showing Washington down to, oh, $1.55 here now at 
some spots. The board's really starting to light up, so doesn't mean it's not going to go back, but looks like there's a pretty big move that just came in on the Washington Nationals plus that money. Everton won that game against Forrest 2 to nothing. And uh, Oakland also took steam in that game against Cleveland after they announced those uh, players out of the lineup. So Oakland now down $2.42 at Bovada, $1.45 at DraftKings. So Oakland took uh, the widely reported steam here today. All right, just checking to see if we got any other uh, late breaking steam. Uh, do have a little bit of a, uh, let's see here. Uh, Minnesota, uh, Phoenix and Minnesota, their playoff game to, uh, on their next playoff game uh, took steam to the over a little while ago, over 213. Game we already talked about that did take some steam, or uh, didn't talk about it, obviously. That game's coming up, but. All right, I'm all caught up there. Let's keep going here with the baseball. And it's here's here's finally that Brewers and Cardinals game. Got it right here uh, in this one with uh, Colin Ray going up against Sonny Gray. And, yeah, we wouldn't have gone – I want to go under here. I wouldn't have gone under uh, uh, yesterday in that game, right? We did go over, and we did hit that one on the show with Hall and uh, Michaelis. Uh, on the show yesterday. We had it over. We're going to come back on the under here. Sunny Gray. You guys, it, to me, it feels like, I mean, you know, we know we want to make fun of Sunny Gray, and he's going up against a good, strong lineup here, but I like Sunny Gray's chances against the Milwaukee Brewers, even if I've got the Brewers here as a top five lineup against right handers uh, currently. I definitely like Sunny Gray's chances, especially against, uh, you know, some of these Brewers. I, look, Freilich, Dunn. Nice players, right? Uh, real good contributors so far, but it's going to be tough against uh, Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray with no ERA so far. Uh, the one thing about you know Sonny Gray is uh, it feels like for the it feels like he's on the right team here with the card. You think about the teams he's been on. It feels like the Cardinals are the right team for Gray. And I'm kind of disappointed the cards are off to the 9-12 and 12 start so far. Brewers have been looking good here. I don't know who I'm necessarily even on this, uh, yet in this game. Uh, maybe the way the Brewers are playing, that gives them some advantage. But look at the line. I mean, the line is in, out of total respect here, uh, I would think, for Sonny Gray. I mean, the Cardinals are 9-12, and 12, the Brewers are 13-7, and 13-6, but Gray has been, you know, pretty much on fire uh, so far this season uh, through his starts. So just been real, real hot. Let me see here. All right, two games so far, no earned runs, and a .818 whip for Colin. And, and, you know, it's just typical Sonny Gray. It's not like he's going out there and doing anything different, but uh, he can be tough. All right, here's Brew Crew and over from Fernando. And I've got to turn on the Villa game, and I'm doing this show. Oh, salty. Okay, it's gone up, up, up. We might not be able to lay it then. All right, and the cards, that struggling uh, offense, so Jeff says, is what's going to kind of keep him off. But I'm all, like I said, I'm going under here uh, in this one. Look, the one thing about the Cardinals, yes, I mean, I've got them certainly near the bottom right now against right-handers, maybe last, maybe next to last, whatever the case may be. But uh, Donovan can get things started. Donovan can uh, probably do something here at the top of the lineup, at least to try to get something started. If they can get it to Gorman with some guys on base, uh, I then I think the Cardinals um, could be okay here uh, in this one to, uh, you know, win. I mean, they're favored, but man, that price is big, isn't it? Thomas on the under with me. All right, keep on moving on unless you guys got something. We got to finish here. We're almost done with the Marlins taking on the Cubs. 
I talked uh, uh, with Tony about Hendricks, you know, concerns here. Maybe Hendricks is finally done, but I don't know. He just keeps on plugging. He goes out there and finds a way to get it done, it feels like, uh, now and then and can keep his career going here despite some pretty bad uh, numbers so far this season for Hendricks, a 12.71 ERA for Cabrera. Uh, 1.5 ERA. Well, he had one start. Let's just call it what it is. He had one start so far. Uh, they lost that game. Oh, you guys coming in with something here. Chicago Cubs. I've got the under here in this one. I mean, Hendricks going up against this lineup. Why wouldn't he be able to at least find himself a little bit? Uh, here in this one against the Miami offense. It certainly is a bottom five against right-handers uh, currently. Uh, you know, sure, I would think maybe uh, uh, Cruz uh, can can get to um, can get to Hendricks here, but the way this offense is going, um, I don't know who else can except maybe the bottom of the lineup, but. Can't trust Miami. No way. I'm just going to go under and expect a little offense from these guys, even against Cabrera at a good uh, outing last time. Uh, I want to trust Hendricks moving forward, and I'm going to give him a chance here in this start to have an okay start and improve those numbers a little bit, at least at home. We saw doubles. Talk about the weather here a little bit. It is going to be sunny, but in the low 50s here with the wind blowing from left to right, four to seven miles an hour and not much of a factor. It looks like uh, too much. It's always a factor one way or the other in Chicago. And I'll take the under as my play here in this one with Miami and the Cubs. We went with the under yesterday and we won. Uh, we had a lot of winners on the sh We did well. We did well and it cheered me up because I had so I had been a little bit of a slump with the premiums. So uh, feeling good. All right, let's keep it going with uh, Mariners and Rockies in game one. I already gave out the total with Tony last night in game one. I felt confident. Doubleheaders, you know, you got to take them one game at a time, on a, especially on a weekend uh, where they you know kind of have to throw it together. Now, I will mention one thing here. Let me get this note out. Um, it is something to consider. You know, tomorrow uh, the Rockies do play – the Mariners do not. The Rockies play tomorrow uh, at home against the Padres. The Mariners travel day. They are off. This is a doubleheader. We'll preview this game first. We'll come back to the second game at the end. But uh, in this one, you got uh, George Kirby here. Look, we, we took the Mariners yesterday on the run line here on the show. It was another winner. We're just going to do the same thing again here right now. Real concerns uh, with the Rockies here at this point, to be frank. Uh, sure, uh, maybe, you know, people are apt to get on these Rockies a little bit, get them at home. You know, you can get them on a run line here a little bit. I'm going to take Mariners on the run line. Uh, look, Crawford, Polanco, uh, Cal Raleigh, these guys should smash in this game. So far, Quantrill, four starts, four losses. Quantrill does not look like the type of pitcher that – is effective, going to be effective in Colorado. Tony talked about how the Colorado pitchers pitchers don't want to go there. You still get good money. Um, it's the type of place where pitchers are going where they're not really going to be concerned about the effects on their stats and their next contract. Uh, if you can get your money now, and it's kind of like these type of pitchers, like a Quantrill, where – you know, he's due a salary increase. He's been in the majors a little bit of time, uh, have had some certain levels of effectiveness. He still comes in with a 5.57 ERA. Kirby, 6.64, but I'll take Seattle here to roll in game one against Colorado. Doubleheader, you know, kind of tough. I did take the uh, um, Brewers Cardinals. I did take the under Jeff. Thank you. And uh, we'll be on the Mariners here on the run line. And then we'll see about game two. I don't even know if I have. I think I left it off and said, you know what? I might be looking for some premiums tonight. We Maybe game two might be a late steam. 
remember the picks here at Tony'sPicks.com by the premium pick by the cappers. Uh, they can, you know, we don't put them all out in the morning. That's that's old. That's what you used to do. You'd put them all up. You got them in the morning. You got every package. And you still want to do that. Still want to have packages up on games you feel confident. You know the lineups, whatever. But sometimes that late breaking information as well. Uh, oh, I see Crystal Palace, four to one, first half. Villa and Bournemouth, one one, halftime. All right. But uh, I might have, and, and a doubleheader is a great time to do that, right? After that first game or late in that first game. Might not know the lineups, but you might know. Keep going here with the Diamondbacks. We're almost done. Diamondbacks and the Giants. I know the Giants are probably going to be pretty popular play here with cappers today, but uh, they've really been rolling with Arizona uh, of late. So I don't know, though. I, I'm probably going to take the Giants here in this one as my play on the show. I was considering them for a premium here in this one, but I didn't know they'd come a favorite. I thought there'd be more respect for Merrill Kelly. Uh, has the line moved at all? Um, I got some breaking news here right now. And in fact, this one is going to require the breaking news banner, if you remember. And I need a better breaking news, but we only got one. And uh, we better get on it right now. So uh, let's roll with it. <laughs> All right. Well, there it is. We got the banner up there right now. And uh, Hunter Brown is now going to be the starting pitcher for the Astros today in this one. Um, look, I don't want to uh, necessarily cancel my play, but I did take a run line there with the Nationals. I'll re up here probably uh, with the pitching change from Brown. Uh, I don't. We don't even have a line here just yet, but just want to make note of this one that uh, Brown is being moved into the starting spot here. We're breaking news right now uh, on the show, and that's what we do here on the morning steam. Javier is out. Uh, Christian Javier has neck discomfort, so Brown's going to be rushed into that spot as a big favorite here. We do see the new price. Here popping out right now at a dollar, let's call it a dollar sixty, a dollar sixty-five. And the total here is nine over fifteen. Minus one sixty-five, nine over fifteen. That's gonna be the new line here. Hunter Brown in for Christian Javier. Uh talked about Javier. We'll see what this next discomfort is all about. Uh, we know that that can lead to shoulder situations and whatnot. And we talked about some of the metrics that show that Javier may not be as good as the stats uh, were overall. So uh, just get that to you right now. Okay, we got to keep this show going. We got to finish this up. Uh, where were we? All right, we're on that uh, game here with the Mariners. Uh, I've got the Mariners to roll here in this. Oh, no, we're on the Diamondbacks and the Giants. You guys are probably in there with the plays. No, you didn't have anything just quite yet on that. Okay, well, let me uh, step in here with my play. I'm going to take the Giants today with Jordan Hicks. Uh, I only can hope that later in the season Jordan Hicks will pitch against Jordan Wicks. Uh, wouldn't that be something? Anyways, uh, for Merrill Kelly, he's got a 2.14 ERA, and that's probably why I thought it might come in here. Um Uh, let's see here. Might might come in here with a different price, but it didn't necessarily turn out that way. Okay, um, maybe getting a little bit of breaking. Let me just wait just a minute here. Uh, okay, Latifah's on San Francisco uh, in this one. And I'm on San Francisco as well. We'll try to give out some stats here, but I see a lot of a lot of things happening. I don't want to miss anything here. If I got some news uh, to break to you, we're almost done with the show, and you can get on with your lives. Still 64. Are you hanging out here with me? Hello to everyone on my Facebook page uh, as well. Family and friends joining me today. Uh, type their comment in the chat. I'm still alive. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, next up, let's get it over with here. Mets and Dodger, or Fernando on the Giants. Okay. 
Mets and Dodgers in this one. And look, the Mets are playing terrific right now. We know it. They're hot. We love them. Uh, they're fun to watch. Uh, you know, I'm not too worried about, uh, you know, talking about yesterday's game, for example, with the Dodgers and the Mets. Look, uh, the uh, – let me – one of what did I have in that? What did I have in the game? That's what I want to. What did I? What did I have in the Mets Dodgers uh, game here on the show yesterday? <laughs> want to make sure I got it right. Oh no, we we did have the under. Okay, we did have the under. Okay, I'm going to come back with the Mets. So I mean, I love on the Mets run line. Mets run line, of course, here at plus one and a half. Uh, I want to see what it is. That's what it is. Uh, Mets get another win yesterday. The Dodgers are hilarious. Uh, it's great that they're – I love when they lose, but uh, not going to diss them too much. But these prices still a little bit out of hand, and even if I can grab a couple of runs here, why don't I do so? I'm going to take the Mets in this one, plus the run and a half with Hauser. He's got a 470 RA going up here against Glass now. This is Glass now's sixth, sixth start of the season already because uh, pitched one in Korea, of course. So he's already pitched several games and I don't know. I just going to, uh, this role that the Mets are on right now is something, uh, uh fascinating, quite frankly. And got to figure there'll probably be some runs scored here with a, uh, Day game in this one. The widely reported steam came in on the Dodgers. And look, Glass now is going to probably roll over some of these guys like Marte and uh, Pete Alonso, probably make it a little bit difficult on them. But, uh, you know, I'm going to still take the Mets, especially at this price. Uh, look, Hauser had a couple starts, so has three starts actually so far. Mets on the money line. Uh, Hauser, uh, Three overs so far. I will make note of that as well uh, for two teams that have gone over quite a bit. The Dodgers are 14-8 and eight to the over so far. Thomas might be taking the handicap here. Uh, Hauser, yeah, 4.7 ERA, but 277 BABIP so far, Jeff. Uh, would like to see him. You know, he's not going to strike out a lot of, a lot of guys, but – uh, Glass now will, but I'm still going to take the Mets here in this one. All right, we're almost done. Got my Padres taking on the Blue Jays. We had a winner yesterday here on the show with the Blue Jays. And, uh, you know, I certainly have my concerns right now. I, I, I know I might be giving off mixed signals when it comes to the Padres. Like I said, I do really like what's going on uh, with the Padres right now. This team, more fun, more excitement. Musgrove does appear to not be at full strength. He, yeah, uh, pitched pretty well last time for several innings. Um, short favorite here. I'm still going to take the Blue Jays plus the, plus the small price here as a small dog. Uh, so far, uh, Bassett, 4.03 ERA, Musgrove 6.29 the ERA, and a 397 BABIP uh, in this one. Uh, man, there could be some runs. Low total for two pitchers that kind of are uh, not looking too good so far. Musgrove striking out 18% right now. Latifa does like the Padres here. Darren likes the Jays. And... Uh, Thomas says, ever since I've been back on, we're going to fade the Padre. I'm well, I'm, I guess I am. I'm supposed to be the Padres correspondent. So looks like Fernando's on the Padres as well. Ray's on the under. I'm concerned, uh, actually about the total, but I don't know if I have a premium on it. And, uh, uh, thought we might get a better price. Let me just go with Toronto here on the show. All right, we're almost done here um, in this one. And one last game, right? Oh, uh, Texas. That's what the Texas game. Uh, that's where I left off. Got to type in the graphic, you guys. That's where I left off. I uh, don't everything have everything in sync yet with my... 
was the morning steam show. Okay, here we go. Uh, Rangers and Braves. I'm gonna I'm not I'm gonna skip this one. I said I was gonna take more passes on the show. Uh, maybe one a day. So I'll take it on this one. Don't have a premium yet, but it is a night game, and uh, I don't know where I'm going there, but I do know I, I like Vines, Red Vines, and uh, he's a pretty big favorite here in this one. Uh, one start so far looked pretty good, but uh, still a big favorite here against the Rangers. Uh, Braves come in with an incredible 14-5 and five record so far, really looking good. Lorenzen had a pretty good start, uh, no earned runs in his first outing. Uh, Rangers won that game, and uh, he looked pretty good as well. Uh, both guys having some trouble with walks so far, so be careful here. But you see that total right now at 10, under 15. I'm going to give one cursory glance at the lineups and the splits. I think I know what I want, and if I if the price ain't right, I might just give it out here right now. And uh, no, I'll just wait. You guys make a play here in this one. I'm skipping it, you guys. Right, Salty? Is it making that much noise? That's uh, like a MacBook. And uh, Thomas on Atlanta. That looks like it for the show. Thanks, everybody, for sticking around. I, I'll look at the UFL game. I'll at least show the line on the screen. Uh, what else we got? We got some Major League Soccer today. Uh, Minnesota and Charlotte, San Jose and L.A. Uh, give me the Galaxy and the over. Galaxy and the over. In Major League Soccer today, uh, that might be it for me with my soccer card. I gave out that under Barcelona and Real Madrid. I'm going to go bet on Real Madrid probably right now if we can. JJ, thank you, sir. Uh, Jeff, thank you for everything as well. I'm going to go put in a baseball card with some late steam here. Uh, i got to plan a little better. Hey, thanks, everybody, for joining me here on the morning steam uh, thank you, Fernando. You and me, we're going to do a soccer show uh, here, right? We're going to. The problem is, we come on and half the games are over. Thank you, Thomas, as always. I mean, look at some of these uh, games right now. I mean, well, coming up, we've got Fulham and Liverpool, or uh, Liverpool at Fulham, Leverkusen and Dortmund uh, coming up. I know we had some guys on some of those games, I thought, right? Uh, Dortmund at Lever uh, Leverkusen and Dortmund. I uh, have some plays on these if you guys want. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Catch you with more Morning Steam uh, tomorrow. Fernando, I'm going uh, under in that soccer match. Thank you, you guys. Appreciate it. Uh, back every day here with more Morning Steam. All right. You're talking me into it. Oh, Fernando, I was going to go under. Okay, I'll just leave it alone. Just give me – oh, he's got BTTS and over. Okay, both teams are scoring over. Oh, man, I'm going to scratch that off. I was going under. Don't do it now. Fernando said over. All right. All right, you guys, thanks so much for your picks on the Rangers and the Braves. I might try to get a premium going on that. I'm going to take a pass. So I was going to take more passes. I'm going to take one pass on this show. Oh, you guys, one more game. Mariners and Rockies, the last game, the doubleheader game, too. Uh, probably going to take a pass on this one, too, actually. Uh, we'll take a quick look here. Just because some of, you know. Um, okay. Oh, boy, I thought the Mariners would be a bigger price, actually. Let's see what happens in that first game. It's $1.33 right now because I want to take the Rockies, quite frankly, and I thought the price would be higher. And if the Mariners go out and bust them again in the first game, uh, I'm probably willing to come back and take the, the Rockies uh, in game two. If I can play it like that here on the morning steam, uh, that's – probably what I would like to do. Hey, nothing's official here. We don't keep record. I mean, we keep records on Tony'sPicks.com. Head on over to Tony'sPicks.com. Use the promo code TONYT at checkout. Save 20% of all premium pick packages from our cappers over at Tony's Picks. Click on the All Cappers tab. Find the handicapper of your choice and get signed up. You can also check out uh, the latest games right here. Click on the upcoming tab, and there you'll see all the hottest matchups coming up. Look, Nick just added uh, Atletico uh, going up against Alaves, 
and uh, other games from the hockey you see there as well, ready to go. Remember that hockey card starts at 12.30 Eastern, 9.30 Pacific. And you see all of our cappers with all of the games uh, lined up for today's action. So if you want some of our premium picks, head on over to Tony'sPicks.com and use that promo code TonyT at checkout. Save 20%. All right. For Tony, uh, one more. <laughs> We got a, I'll be better, you guys. Uh, second show out the gate now since we've come back here. Uh, I'm not picking anything. And Renegades and Rough. Okay, I'll take the, give me the Rough next. Uh, they're 0 and 3. The Renegades are 0 and 3. Both teams are pretty bad. It looks like the opposite of what everything is supposed to happen in the league. This isn't a real handicap. I'm just kind of half kidding. But uh, two 0 and 3 teams will meet in the game today in the UFL uh, between uh, the Renegades and the Roughnecks. So check it out. Uh, that one goes off at uh, 2 Eastern, 11 Pacific, Arlington, the road favorite at Houston, total 45. All right. Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you again tomorrow from Tony'sPicks.com. For more Morning Steam, I'm Ramon Scott. Now it's plain to see the more steam is the A team, Mr. T, and I pity the fools who can't hang. The number real game is sort of a freight train. It's very poor and bank rolls are easy to maintain. So get situated and listen to the picks, and it goes along something like this.